how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Symphonics here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the selective recording stream, part two. Uh, last time I tried this out, didn't work. Hopefully, uh, I upgrade computers and uh, things will be going better now. I'm gonna start the recording now because uh, way I had my stream set up here. Yeah, I was not recording it first. But if things start getting bad, I'll stop the recording. Because uh, things are already starting to look bad already. Looks of it. Already experiencing issues. OBS, please. Please. You gotta help me out here. But uh, yeah. No drop frames, but uh, definitely in the red for now. Okay, I, I think it looks like uh, a selective recording stream is, is dead. I'm I'm constantly in the red. Uh, again. Yeah. So. There we go. Recording done. All right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, recording was was weird. Yeah. I I'm not gonna try that again. But uh, yeah, that's the donation ticker. Um, he is the only person that's donated to me ever. Ace Lols, big ups, Ace Lols. Only person that's donated to me so far. He shows up, he gets a permanent shoutout on the stream. Uh, yeah. I, I like how I stopped recording and the stream is still going like nuts. All right, there we go. Stream, stream quality is back to normal. We Gucci, we Gucci now. But yeah, I wanted to stream some Nino Kuni too, while uh, I had the chance, because I have access to a po more powerful computer for now. And uh, yeah, it'll probably run better here. It's just that I don't have enough time. This is like a work PC for me, essentially, and it's uh, better than the PC I'm using to stream with. Uh, yeah, so luckily I had this rare opportunity to just use my uh, semi-work PC to, to stream. And I was like, oh, you know, it, it, it's a nice change of pace. But uh, yeah, I guess enough rambling for me. I think that's that's probably more than you want to listen to me ramble about stuff. Let's get to the actual game, because uh, I think that's what people are here for. I think. Most people just want to hear me talk about random stuff. But yeah, Nino Kuni 2. We end this with uh, the PS4 controller this time. No, no Xbox controller, unfortunately. So you'll see PS4 prompts. Yeah. Oh well. So uh, rip to those guys who like PS4 prompts. I mean, who don't like PS4 prompts. Um, for your tough luck. But we played this on a PS4 controller with a PS4 controller. And uh, let me stop the music once this game opens up there. I like how the PC controls still work too. I'm, that's like one thing I never. Anyways, back, and uh, we play Nino Kuni. Luckily, it runs better, much better. Uh, that's the power of uh, ETX 1080 Ti, which uh, is game. No, I also forgot to change the stream title too. Get that. Yeah, before people complain and start be like, oh, you're in the wrong category. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm in the right category. You know, can you two category. But if I recall, yep, controls are similar to Xbox. You can actually uh, fast travel. We don't have to walk weird distances to see ourselves. Yeah, we're back. I've been looking uh, proper as always. Talk to the old man here. Oh! Yep, your majesty. The lads are all back and safe and sound. You've done, Captain, upon all a right big favor and then some. <laughs> you should have seen him, righty. The kid's a flippin' animal. Flop the thing that what snatched us up lot like we're not. Wash. <clears throat> Who are you calling kid, you sackless oaf? This ain't some bane from down the road. It's a king. King Evan of the Earthland, I have you know. Whoa! 
Sure enough. King and all? At his age? Damn right. I am a king. At like 11 years. I like how like, if you notice on stream, the, the cape, Evan's cape is kind of like, torting to his body. Just like how real capes do. Indy place. Uh, but what's some king from over to the hill far away doing to come and rescue the likes of us? We need shipbuilders, and Mr. Wright told us that you're, that his shipbuilders need our help. Yeah, who are you calling the kid? This, this this is a king. It's a king. It was a king. Anyways, so that's it. Well, King Evan, if it's shipbuilders you need, found your blokes. What are you after exactly? A nice fishing boat, maybe? Or a summon to live in? We can do a uh, right good houseboat if we uh, if you even need a one. You need something big. Hardware. Find a sail around the world. Hide your paws first, and then, well, who knows? <laughs> ah, round to flipping world. He says like it's not. Well, I hate to disappoint you. You'll get an ocean boat. An uh, ocean going boat out of any of the wood that we got around here. You won't get uh, a sailing boat. All the wood that they have, apparently. Okay. No, you'll be needing some proper hardware. Uh, the waves will soon wallop you to pieces otherwise. Mm. Hard wearing wood. I think we'd better go speak with Nile. I'll know something, I'm sure. Will you now? Well, you'd best go to ask your mate Nile then, eh? Lyrus no. Lyrus. I should be Lettus, I guess. Lyrus no. I mean, you've had a, uh, a word to did. Oh, why? Aye, doing all. Be a debt of gratitude to be paying back, paying you back. Big up Nile. So uh, if you're if you tuned in for the last selective recording stream, uh, I, I did this portion, but it kind of it was messing up the in the recording, so I was like, oh, you know, might as well like close up and uh, save this part. So I'm not gonna bother reading through this stuff again. Do you want to? You can screen cap. You can pause it. Pause the recording. Whatever. This gets uploaded too. Just read it. I'm not gonna bother reading. Because it's always like, it's like fake Twitter posting. Really. It is exactly what fake Twitter posting. But like, it's like, it's Twitter from like 2000. 2015? I don't wanna say like the beginning of Twitter, because the be beginning of Twitter, everyone's calling each other like gamer words. The R word, the F word, letters, and uh, that's uh, the the lost days of Twitter. Hey, calling each other uh, homosexuals, but like in the slur way. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, side quest here from one of the ladies that we. Hi. Any, pardon me, Your Majesty. But would you happen to have a moment? Mm. Of course, Henny. What's the matter? I was wondering, you might be able to help me prepare something for the next lesson of the children. Mm. Ooh, I'd be happy to. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. At the moment, I'm teaching children how to tell the different mushrooms apart. It's a lot of fun, but once they've learned, they go and get, uh, go in the field and pick them for themselves. That sounds wonderful. I bet they love your lessons, Henny. Well, I certainly hope so. After all, the little ones learn way more uh, when they're having fun. Damn right. Having said that, it's vitally important that they know how to tell which ones are which. So I like to give them a test, just to make sure they understand. I thought uh, that if you took it first, it would help motivate them to take it seriously. After all, they do look after you ever so much. Gosh. So very much. Gosh, a test. Never thought I'd been one of your lessons. Never even been to one of your lessons. <laughs> Why, you don't need to. You've been all over the world. I'm sure you've seen more mushrooms than most anyone. We'll pass with flying colors, I'm sure. Gosh, I mean, this is all very sudden. It's been there for so long since I, took, uh, since I last took a test. I wanted to, but I do want to help you if I can. I'll give it a try. Well, thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate it. I really do. 
Dups, Henny. Well done. Might as well get started. Here's question one. This is a very poisonous mushroom indeed. Expert knowledge is required to extract this venom. Bring me the mushroom you think fits the description and see if you got it right. The uh, playing around with shrooms here. Let's yes. See. see if I have it with me. Uh, very poisonous mushroom indeed. Expert knowledge is required to extract this venom. Which mushroom is it? Let's see. Told stew. That's probably what it is. Hmm? Well, Ivan, what's this you brought me? Um, it's a told stew. It looks like the a mock told stew. It's very poisonous. It's the one you. Yes. That is the correct answer. <sighs> oh, we did. Ooh, I was starting to think I might have gotten it wrong. I'm sorry, Evan. I have to put that face on. Can't have the children changing their answers based on my expression, can I? The told stew is one of the world's most famous and deadliest mushrooms. So it's also the first one children need to learn about. They have to be able to know to avoid them before I can let them go foraging. Thankfully, I'm fairly sure that all the children in your my class are capable of identifying you as you are, as are you, Majesty. Thank goodness for that. Mm. Now then, it's time for question two. This refreshing mushroom tastes just as bright and breezy as it looks. That's your description. Now bring me a mushroom that you think the matches it. Bright and breezy. Yeah. Out here. Here's question two. The refreshing mushroom tastes just as bright and breezy. Let's bring me a mushroom that matches the description. What do I have? Bright and breezy. Gooey, slippery. A solid, if unspectacular, mushroom to at most. I don't think I have it. I don't have something that's bright and I have to go look for it. But uh, before that, let's, let's uh, go talk to Niall. It's more pirate talk. Always, uh, always fun to try to read pirate talk. Like weird old English. Unfortunately, all the characters have Poland. Tani, to some extent. I don't really... Or they all use like, pirate talk. Old English talk. It's very hard to read. Hardware and timber, eh? I I have an idea of what E it might be after. I reckon E could use, do a lot worse than uh, Iron Bro Tree or Ten. They grow over in the hardwoods there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go and get some. Aye. Aye. That, that you could, laddie. That you could. All oh, you'd not be wanting is gold stolen there unprepared, believe me. Listen. Blocked the path a while back. That was a problem, see. Great dirt, a dirty great beastie, but a few so short you'd swear he didn't have one, even have one. Uh huh. Then there's no other way of getting these uh, iron bro trees going through this thing. Aye, that's about the size of it. That's about the size of it, aye. Oh, you'll be neat. Obtain the bottle of thrown away spray. That's a wee magical concoction. I like to call throwing away. Anything spiky to be getting rid of. This is your stuff. Piled the pile. We piled up the path with uh, puff burrs. You'll want to spray. Want to spray a puff or two on. Clear the things out. A chemical spray that specifically targets spiky objects. That seems unlikely. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nile. Come on, Gold. Set the off uh, for the forest right away. So we got our thorn away. And, uh, destroy spiky thing, which is nice. Though we this is like their first time encountering anything spiky. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of some clever. I can't. I'm not waiting. But uh, we can also look for those mushrooms that. Any you want. Just get the wolf spear. So this is like where roughly where I stopped the last stream uh, of the selective recording session. Luckily things are going better this time. I'm not recording though, because uh, 
Apparently you need a very powerful PC to board and stream at the same time. And run the game. Maybe if I was just watching YouTube videos and streaming it, I'd probably be, uh, be okay. But, no, not when you're... That, that's like over the edge. Pushes your computer over the edge. But uh, here's our first spiking. Uh, destroy this. Oh my! He's supposed to be the puff person now I was talking about. Yeah, it looks pretty spiky to me. I think he must be right. Well, just said a puff or two, didn't he? Well, here we go. Spray the ball of Thorn. Puff bird. Collie. Magically disappear. Just like that, in like all dust. They just don't like melt or anything, they just like gibbly disappear. Oh, they disappeared just like that. Wow. Oh, they really did. It's a pretty niche product. Damn right. Got like niche magic too. Not only works on specific specific areas. And if you use it anywhere else, it doesn't work. And I'm pretty sure we can use like a wind spell wherever, but then we can only use the wind spell to make a plat turn create a vortex that pushes us up. So it's uh that's niche. It's to some extent. They're working on one thing. Let's see. Got some, uh, no bright and breezy, uh, was it, rooms yet, unfortunately. Because this would probably be, like, the best place to find mushrooms, right around the month. Because we have, like, built one Careful big one there. <laughs> AoE move, always great. You always have to, like, target these mushrooms first, because they always, like, create smaller mushrooms to, like, and I can get him pretty easy. Let's see, who's, who's left? That was weird. It, 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 it kind of took a, a bit for the uh, battle to end, though we killed everything. Just like thinking. Oh. Is there anything else up here that we need? Oh, oh. So I think, yeah, there's a chest here. And, uh, we have to make mushrooms grow in order to continue. Sorway. See, I thought three leaf sorway was like something that heals the entire party. At first, <laughs> cast quick growth spell. There we go. Another one of our niche spells that we use to uh, press. It's got like jump on it and like, uh, step stool. But yeah, like I was saying, like that's a pretty niche spell. I, I gotta say, it can think only mushrooms, though. and only in mushrooms like that are on stumps. Yes, all these stumps, pathway thing. That's the way to main story. Uh, go around and collect random stuff. You never know like when the stuff will be it's full. Copy of Songbook number 15. Assume that's for like what's it up? Uh, locking spell. Not spells. Oh, well, it's a new one. Locking the songs that you can listen to. <laughs> oh hey, it's a, it's a, it's the artwork girl. <laughs> Is this Wall Street Bex? This is like the Wall Street Bex. It's like the simple Wall Street Bex. Don't worry. This guy will have diamond hands soon. Uh, once you have diamond hands, you know, it's going to be much harder to get uh, Make yourself move. Maybe if there were like more than one of them. you know, like. Uh, Apes are stronger together than bar Yeah. other stuff here. Prepare to be oh, hey. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> incarnate thing. If you kill these, they get extra bonuses, I think. Yeah, you need a little help here! They're, they're like the, uh, they just, all they do is run around, do that thing, and just, uh, annoy you. And then if you kill them, you get, uh, extra stuff. 
Oh, there's a Higgledy Stone. Too. Uh, let's see what we offer this Higgledy Stone. We get a new, uh, new buddy. Voice can be heard coming from the Higgledy Stone. Oh, Met Traveler, show me what you got. What I like, and I will like you quite a lot. Hey, I know, it's talking about the prisms. It, the uh, proper evil ones, all dark and blue. That. Red light, so I need like a dark prism. I need like a dark prism. I, I don't think uh, red or clear prism will do anything for us. I mean, like, it says in the description, they want something dark and moody. That stuff. I don't think a red prism is dark and moody. Not, not in my uh, definition. Wouldn't be in Russian. That might be it. Might be what Henny was uh, talking about. It's real cool. Collecting all this stuff, hoping that will be useful one. Just like, uh, stocks. Collecting stocks. Hopefully it will be worth something. But the difference is that in the game it's much quicker. Stuff that you find on the ground to be worth something. Stock with. Obtain a wizardly twinkly tunic. So I'm not sure if Evan could put that on. I'm not sure if it would help him. Let's check. It's probably something worth checking. Or I'll switch care. Let's see. Did the Yeah, that'll help. Some people I want really increase. Yeah. I'll help Evan. And I probably mentioned this on stream. All back, but I kind of wish that you know, equipping arm kind of changed the look of the characters. Fortunately, it doesn't. Fortunately, uh, stuck looking. What you look like now. I kind of wish there was like costumes. Switch around. There probably are. Like in D S D S. Of course. This is D S D S. Confusion. So I seem to stand very still and uh, get over the confusion. And looks what look what happened. Just did. Uh, look the A whole bunch of stuff. Here. I mean, I think we're like pretty decently level too. This section. Yeah, because everything is like level 25 ish. We're like almost 30. Yeah, there we go, like level 27. Prepare I was like a couple of 30. Because yeah. yeah, I totally forgot like what the zing is. Because it's been a while since I played this. Make yourselves useful! Yeah, you gotta kill me. Yeah, I think that's where we get the prisms. So we gotta find like a purple carnet thing. And uh, we'll get like dark prisms out of it. Whole area of chests. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was like more than one chest in here. Like a lot of stuff. Ooh, a deadly tower toppler. I think Batu. Housing topple, tower toppler. At the uh, the deadly one. Probably switch up the platinum axe for uh, topplers and, and fire axe. Fire axe. Like what firemen cut down doors. Except that. Well, they use a red axe. I mean, I think they might sometimes. It's like part red. I think the blade is probably like the silver. It's kind of, that's kind of what, what I imagine like, imagine like a fireman's axe. Like red. One half of it. The, the other half just the color. Here just goes like nothing! <laughs> I do like that really. Like, 
really helps out with these like small mobs. So Roland's got a lot of AoE moves. Just uh, realize that. He's got the AoE moves, he's got the gun. But what main character is uh, that already at the beginning of the game? Because I still think this is like still the beginning. Got like a lot, long way to go. Because I remember like the original Nino Kuni, 60 hours just for like the story, or like at least that's how long it took. The original Nino, 60 hours for me. It's uh, all side stuff. But I think if it was just the game itself, just like through the story, I think I could be Nino Kuni. 40 hours, 30, 40 hours. I spent like an extra 20 side content. And don't even like get me started on the platinum. I got the platinum for you know, That was like a hundred hours. Yeah, because I think part of it was like you had to like go into a tournament. Well not a tournament, like uh an arena thing. You had to fight like random enemies too. Until a certain level. See your progress so far? Yes, yeah, so let's save it. It's probably a boss coming. Of course, it's a boss coming. Probably the big beastie that uh, Miles told us about. It's not gonna be super tough, I bet. Probably be a pushover. They say that. Hey! It's supposed to be the arm bone trees, don't you think? Yeah, these trees look pretty sturdy. I think they would make a nice merry go. If uh, chat remember that reference. Yeah. The One Piece thing. Frithidek! Reiki. These are the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Oi! Aye. It might be sturdy too, but it looks a little. Tidy! These will make boats that can make proper battering. That take uh, that can take a proper battering line. Tidy. You didn't come across the monster now, I mentioned after all. Lucky us. No one's too soon. You could be out there anyway. Yeah, that's right, Roland, you pessimist. Looking at this. Oh, this is deep fucking value? That's oh, awful. Come on! There we go. Wow, you already knocked already knocked down. Take that! Level 32 solid. Eat this! Huh? Don't take your eyes off for a second. Probably gotta like jump on it or something. You're welcome. Yeah, he's gonna jump on it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't have to move this up. Yeah, I don't have my skills up. We will play on the next episode. Is it this? I think that was this. Blaster blagged. Begged. Yes! Now we finally get our hands on that wood. 
We better head over to the cap uh over to Capstan. Tell Catch Catch and the others. Ready for them to get started. Hey guys, we got the wood for we Got a new gun. Oh baby. Gun for It's worse than what we Well I guess we're done with Sarah, so he's head back. Go talk to to name any. See if we got the right shroom. Uh, so yeah, we we had the right shroom. Hopefully. Yeah. Here's a question too. This refreshing restaurant takes just as bright and breezy. I think it matches seven. Go in the dark. That's fine. The cheat texture. Cutesy pop. Sweet wheat. It's too cute, but uh. Too cloying. Cloying. Joy. Bright and breezy. I don't think I got it. Bright. What'd you say again? Bright and breezy. Yeah. Bright and breezy as it looks. Like a breezy or something. A breach for me. Don't have that yet. Where are we going? So I noticed that like on the PS4 touchpad kind of like controls the camera. So it works as like a second analog. Which is uh... I, I, I don't know what to think of that. Back in caps and uh, build ourselves a new ship. Story. Hey yo, good to see ya. Hello, stranger. You get me visitors around here. I suppose you'd be wanting to spend the night. Uh, we'll charge twenty gold for the pleasure. Bye then. I never really get the point of staying at the. End. Like, does it restore your HP? Like, save points kind of restore your HP. Oh, we'll give you twenty gold. Hey yo, good to see ya. Right ya yeah, then. Right, sleep no, well. Sleep dream. Did I say sleep dream. Sweet dream. Oh yeah. It just restores oh, your yes. prices. Uh, by gum. Someone's looked righty eyed and bushy tailed this morning. Hey, there's now. Like a good night to keep a eh, lad. Yeah, so I guess if I want to restore my HP outside of the save point, I can I can go sleep in. Because I thought it would like have some sort of a special event for sleeping. I guess not. Whoa! Yeah, game's not advanced enough. Special events. Uh, you sleep. What's that you say? Bagged a load of quality timber from forest to Nile. Cor, oh, you're the one. You are, you're a one. You are, lad. Well, there's only right good wood that comes over, uh, from over that way. I can't wait to add a bowl on it. Don't worry about fetching it and all that. All part of the service, innit? Hey! Right. You bunch of bone idle beggars. Let's get a move on, shall we? You have a log or two to be shifted. Ray, did it. Oh, but and just like that, Evan had found himself the finest boat builders in all the land, and some timber worthy of their expert attention. Eager to get to work after their recent ordeal, the men of Capstan set about putting together a ship fit for a king. And before long, a magnificent vessel that no wave could hope to topple was all but ready to set sail. I gotta say, that's a pretty impressive ship. Oh my! This is really ours? Yeah, wow. I'm kinda impressed. Blimey! Wow, it looks amazing. I love it. Good. This will mean. Uh, this means we'll be able to set sail for Hydropolis soon. All right. Majesty, eh? Me and the lads have been wondering. He not be bothered if we decided to want to go live with you and evermore, would ye? Really? Aye. Building this beauty's put the love of the craft right back into us. We have a few more like this in us. You give us the means to make them. Sides. You don't know the first thing about boats. Uh, you'll only be letting this, uh, this one run, run to rack a ruin without us to look after. 
I suppose you're right. If you really like to join us, uh, we'd be ever so happy to have you. Wow. <laughs> look at look at King Evan. He's like making all the cities abandoned by like people just like uh, just stealing people from other kingdoms. Straight up stealing people. That's lucky, because I don't think Right T be welcoming us up, welcoming us back. Now we've uh, up and ju jump shipped. Yeah. Uh, catch is now a citizen of Earth. Does it just catch, or do we get like everyone else? He's all set to sail. Well, nearly. We've uh, to take her out for a test run. Make a few final tweaks yet. Flippin' heck! What? So we can't go off on our own voyage right away then? Sorry, lass. She'll need a bit more. She'll need a final bit on Bob. Do it before she's ready to take off. Arr. Seems like we have some time on our hands. Best to put our affairs in order while we got the chance, eh? Yeah, let's head back to Evermore and plan our next move. Alright! Alright. So I guess this is like the end of the chapter. I guess we're we reached the end of uh, this chapter. We're gonna like start a new um. chapter with the boat. So what kind of place is Hydropolis? Do they have nice food? The nation built on the ocean, where merfolk and humans live side by side. It's ruled over by a queen named Nerea. Nerea? As for food, I believe the fish is very good this time of year. Blimey. You know everything, don't you? <laughs> uh, just, just how to read, that's all. I, I wish I wish I knew how to read. It feels bad, man. We're looking forward to adding another nation to our union. And I shall be interested to see how our other kingdoms are ruled, too. How, no, how, how our other kingdoms are ruled. I still have much to learn. That's what I like to hear. Hey, up. Oh, this guy's like in his underwear. Uh, your majesty. It's all fitted and ready to sail. Ready to set sail. We launched her over by the coast nearby. All you need to do is climb aboard and get going. Yes! That's wonderful news, Catch. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, it's time to wake up. It's time to take a voyage to Hydropolis. Well, big ups. We we uh, go into a new continent, like a whole new world. An audience with the new post on uh, Leafbook or Twitter or Facebook. That's uh, the, that's what they're on. The Hydropolitan Vista. Glittering lights on the waves as the sun sinks beyond the sea is a sight to fire of imagination. Indeed, I was so inspired by the natural beauty of Hydropolis, I wish to move here. Sadly, there are strict laws that prevent new arrivals from settling here. Oh, so we won't be living there anytime soon. So, uh, it's bad. We got a ship. Tani posting up updates. She's like our social media expert. Expert? I don't know what you would call like a social media person for a company, like social media manager. Yeah, she's our social media man for for everyone. Take a look at this. Have you ever seen a bigger boat? It's made from iron bow trees, so nothing's going to sink in a million years. Hydropolis, here we come. Hey, go find another finer boat. I, no finer wood neither. There's not quite like uh, iron bow, iron bow. I'm happy to hear you say it, Kyle. Big ups. I kind of wish you could like like individual posts, but you can't. The hard ones. Niles underlings. The dirty great beastie that's been lurking uh, by the Iron Barrel Grove has finally been set packing. Now, a moment too soon. Now we can go into the deepest parts of the woods whenever we please. Uh, why anyone in the right mind would want to do that is beyond me. Yeah, that's damn right for sure. You ain't going back there for sure. All right, treasure time part two. Take a good look. Do you recognize this place? If you do. Get down there as fast as your legs can carry you because I've hidden something there. The first person to find is welcome to keep. Happy hunt. God, this is a tough one. No one's gonna find this. Okay, maybe we can go back and maybe we'll have to go back and check and take a look. I thought we I thought we would never go back. Just when I thought I was out, pull me back. It feels bad. Anyways, Yo Ho Ho says Ever since the truth has been revealed as as trial, Master Pugnacious has changed. When he announced he would continue in his role as the Grand High Ruler, that was an uproar. There was an uproar, but now I'm glad he's still our ruler. Yes, yes, you speak the truth. Thank goodness that trial took place. We are grateful to our friend. We exposed the, the truth behind 
behind his uh his greed. It wasn't him. It was uh somebody else. Of course. It's all it's never 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 uh the guy's fault. It's always somebody else. Uh hardwoods, no. I wanna go hardwood. That's never master pugnations. Master pugnations can never do anything wrong. But yeah, we're supposed to look for like one of these mushrooms by like a rock. It. Uh, yeah. Probably gonna be a bit. This is probably gonna be a bit. Place to turn around for this. Of course, Bachi can just turn around and, uh, act cute at the same time. But he does do the most damage out of the party. I think he does. Otherwise, he's uh, very slow and does not do the most damage in the party. This guy got around. Oh. Is this, uh, that's a sign to run away, I think. Actually, no, I want to use the skills. Ah. That uh, feels bad, man. I, I want to use my like stone move, them, but uh, interrupt me. Yeah, uh, I can let it off. Very rude of them. Very rude uh, monster thing. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's like on the platform tier. Mushroom by a rock. At the the apron. There. So, let's skip them for now, because I don't want to really get into fights, I'm just looking for like one thing. Uh, maybe, I have to go through here. On. If I can't find it, I'm just going to continue on the story. Now, why why I didn't look for this? Uh, that was first time. It's because I think it I think it's something to give you a reason to go back. I guess leaf hook is like useful in that regard. They tell you about stuff you go now. that uh, you can really you kind of have to read through the read between the lines through all the all the uh, I don't want to call it shit posting, but the posts that don't really mean anything. Something about like monsters or like, oh hey, look at this boat that we got. Now, help me, I already know we got a boat. Tell everyone about a boat. And another thing too, Evan's supposed to be dead. People think he's supposed to be dead. And then we got like posts saying, hey man, Evan's alive. It's like a new kingdom. Thinking like, won't like the rat people come and try to kill him? Won't they feel threatened and be like, hey, this guy that we're supposed to kill because, you know, He's a obstacle for us to get the throne. Shouldn't, shouldn't we kill him? So he doesn't have a chance to get his uh, seat back? No, the, the rat people have not come. They have not come for, for Evan. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know, maybe in Hydropolis they'll have, like, send a rat assassin. Probably something like a rat assassin to take, take care of uh, Evan. And then we got like, it's gonna be like some needs of contention for a bit. Do like a, story, a mini story arc. Like, hey, you know, we're like the bad people. We wanna kill you. But, uh, they just kind of been slow on it. Yeah, they just kind of been slow on the uptake for like weeks. Because how long does it take to form a new game? Because like, by the timeline of Eno Kuni, it seems like things are going pretty, pretty fast. Uh, oh, I think it's here. I'll do my best. Got a lot of those incarnates. Incarnates? Yeah, incarnates. Yeah, Tempest incarnates. Surprising. This guy can his back. Ishus, I think. Yeah, the thing is that the cannon is too slow. 
Oh, this thing has like no, no interrupts. This guy does not get interrupted. Yeah. Looks like the the rock is in. I thought it was gonna be easy to find. Just bring up the map. It's uh. I thought it'd be easy to find, but no, I guess not. I guess we can go check the side quest. Might be some stuff there. It's like Mal's old Let's Get out of here. Because the uh, side quest is right there. Oi. Oh, hello there, Evan. I was just thinking about you and your kingdom. How's Muriel and the uh, alpaca? Alpaca herder doing over there. I hope she's alright. Mm -hmm. Uh, Muriel? Aye. Aye, dear old Muriel. But she's been causing all manner of mitches with the bow of hers, eh? I'm ever so sorry, I don't think I've ever met anyone called Muriel. You don't know Muriel? Well, I never. I thought you would. She's a Grimalkin, just like you, you see. She had, uh, to flee Ding Dong Dell, and all the unpleasantness happened. I'm sure she have, uh, made it to everyone by now. I know that's uh, where she was headed. Privates. I hope she didn't get lost on the way. What? That'd be terrible. I better go look out. I better go look for her right away. Oh, that'd be uh, so kind of me. Now I cannot tell you exactly where she might have gone to. But I do know that she'll have her alpaca with her. Mm. And two of them are young and easily distracted. They've probably been charmed by the wonders of the forest somewhere along the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll search the woods and see what I can find. Oh, yeah. We, we gotta find a new cat lady. Look for a mural in the jum jumble woods. I mean, I guess we have a reason to stay here now. Jumble woods. So, at the hardwood. Is it here? Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Okay, head to the world map. Alright. Luckily, the enemies have not scaled up to us, so we can just uh, run by these dudes and not have to worry about... Actually, now that I think about it, too, that uh, leaf book post probably might not have been for the, the, the woods. Might have been for, like, the jumble woods. Who knows? But we'll see if we can find any mushrooms with like weird rock formations next to it. Because I couldn't find any on the way there. I totally forgot about this like secondary area too. Because I went here once and there was like nothing in here. I'm like, oh, what's this? Crap. Accidentally ran into this dude. You ready for this? These dudes. It's gonna be a simple battle. And of course, the stone pieces. Where you go now? Yeah, I don't really like using Bato. He's, he's really slow on the attack. I guess he's like good for the bosses, but like for all these like single mobs, that great. Oh, this is the jumble woods here, I think. No, it's over there. I remember there was like a door there too, so I might do that. Why am I being up on the little guys? Because uh, I, I just accidentally run into them. I'm not trying to beat them up on purpose. I might be up this little dude, because he's like uh, one of the stronger little dudes. This monster gives us an unpleasant aura. Guga, let's take care of this Guga. At level 22. Come on! He has his own domain and everything. He does his own crib, we bust him in. We uh make ourselves comfortable. We we kill him and take all his stuff. Rolling as a waking. Pick up roll. He is awakened. Luckily these guys don't really do much damage at this level. 
Yeah, easily take care of that. This is supposed to be on the harder side too, in terms of uh, difficulty. Obtain the elite sorcerer's ring. Obtain the champion's ring. See, when I first came upon that thing, because I'm kind of backtracking right now. Uh, yeah, it was way too strong. I think I was like level 15 at the time. Yeah, level 15. Jungle woods are right here. Yeah, they are. I feel like I need to go like on game FAQs and the find that the leaf stuff. Oh dear, where could you where could you gone? Oh, oh, I think I found Mr. Person. You're miracle, aren't you? Ooh. King Evan, gosh, I didn't expect you to meet. You lost as well. No, we came here to look for you. Actually, would you like to show us? Uh, would you like us to show the way to Evermore? Oh, I'd love to go to Evermore, but I can't just leave yet. It's Paco, you see, my alpaca. What I'm missing. Right off into the forest. I just don't know where. It, just don't have the energy to go after him. Don't worry, Muriel. I'll go and find your alpaca. You just wait here, all right? Thanks. You got like a cat herding al alpacas. It's great. Well, thank you, King Evan. You're waiting right here, then. All right, we gotta find some missing alpacas. Let's uh see where we can go. Paco, Paco, bat Paco, come out to play. Paco, he's not responding. Might be dead. But yeah, I think this is like a side quest that we could have done a long time ago. Hence why like all the enemies are like level 16 and stuff. There he is. There's a cute little Paco. There you are. How'd you end up here? I wonder, uh... Oh, never mind about that now. Let's get you back to Mir. Morgul. Morgul. Oh, Paco, there you are. King Evan, you found him. Thank you so ever so much. <laughs> now we'll be able to come with you to Evermore. <laughs> Wonderful. You'll both be very welcome. I'd be happy to take care of any monsters uh, that are giving you trouble. I'll crack, I'll crack shot of a bow. An arrow. And it's the least I can do after you went to go find Paco for me. <laughs> that sounds great to me. Just promise you'll teach him not to go wandering off by himself again. Yeah. Don't worry. Make sure he stays with me the whole time. Yeah. Borgo Borgo. Mm. Perfect. We'll look forward to seeing you there, Muriel. Muriel, welcome to everyone. The kingdom where everyone is happy and everything. Sisters are no mercy units. They, oh, so they're uh, bow units. Rolling leveled up. Big ups. I'm, I'm expecting there's like a door. Like one of the secret doors that we have to to face. Here. Oh, no, there's a Higgledy here. A Higgledy guy. Higgledy playground trip door. Oh, okay. So this is like the, the uh, better version of Aunt Martha. This guy wants. Whoa! Piggle, piggle, you can have you serious, you can see me. Hey, 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 how marvelous. You must be wondering if you're hard to see a Higgledy like me. Looks like a random fat dude. Non Higgledy human folk, uh, come to the forest on a You were the first to speak to me, Higgledy right. Piggledy Boo. Uh, well, now, now, you may not be aware of this. I have quite the penchant for collecting pebbles. Hey, hey, if you can attend to these scrumptious stony delights, I'll return you a piece of confectionery. Come, uh, I came up with myself. Eagle, it's true. All right here, you go. Let's uh, take the pebbles. And it over ten pebbles. Right. Eagle, eagle, eagle. This is wonderful. You did. It. You truly have earned more. Obtained a cough sweet. Just make sure you don't break your teeth on it. How are you? Billy, he. So you returned, my pure-hearted higgledy seeing friend. My offer still stands. Ten bowls for a sweet treat. Devise my own, my very own stuff. Hig, hig, hig. Are you a higgledy? Yeah, I have to know. Oh, ultimate. Higgle, piggle. What's our question? Is that? that? Of course I'm a higgledy. Uh, I, I like how the dramatic zoom in came in. Of course I am. How are you? 
still. Let's give him ten more cards. Right. You go play this wonderfully. You did. You truly earned your. Milk chew. Just make sure you don't break your teeth. So I'm kind of curious what these chews are. This milk chew and, and the other chew ones. Cough sweet. Oh, okay. So they actually increase. They actually do permanent uh, upgrades to your stats. Let's put uh, HP up by five, so we can get them over thousand HP. Defense by one. All right, so he makes uh, buffs for you. It's good to know. He uh, permanently buffs your stats. Let's see any side quests I want to do before I advance the story any further? Battle, battle, scar wheels. Oh nope. All right, continue the story. Back to everyone. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably like collect the coffers. No, probably should. Book posts. Oh, we'll look at those. We gotta collect huh. our uh, coffers. Yeah, because we need 15k, I think, to upgrade our kingdom, which I probably should start saving up for now. Yeah, I think we need to 15k to to yeah, we need 15k. Do we? You haven't met the requirements yet. Okay, so what do we need? A Love Kingdom, two. Oh, look at that! More real estate. Oh, we got like a little. We got like a more proper castle now. It's great. Uh, it looks great. The the difference between level one and level two. It's like nine days. It's crazy. We make more stuff too. Symphonium. Make a dimensional lab. Branching lumberyard. Spreading lumberyard. Sage's salon. Spellery. Wow. So much stuff we can. Crazy. But we have no money, so uh, I think all this stuff is on hold until we get more money. But now we can save more money. Yeah, that's great. Loving the new look kingdom. Let's complete the research. Don't think I have enough money to make any more re attempts into research, I think. Yeah, it, research costs money, so don't have enough uh, money to look into that. But what I can do is complete the research I already have done. We have Ketch, Henny, Muriel. So where are they suited at? Uh, boost knowledge of alpaca rearing. Branches productivity. Institute of innovation. And shipyard. Now, do we have like a shipyard build? Probably can. So we, I, we do have a ranch, if I recall. Yeah, we do. We have sleeping ranch. We finally have someone to set up the ranch. We have uh, Muriel. Help set up. Love with alpacas. Yeah, there's a lot of buildings I gotta build. I got like 26 people. 26 out of 29 people and uh, being used. I have like long name training grounds, instituted innovation. Also, I have catch. Uh oh, training grounds. How much does that cost? We have the instrument. Still need uh more. Do we need? Evermore has an Aurelia Square. Training grounds? Yeah, so yeah. Definitely uh need to build more money. To get more money. Oh, Mr. Higglesworth. Higgledy he, a little boy with a pure heart actually managed to see me. It's amazing. It's the first time I ever had contact with human folk in years. I wonder how my mother is. Yeah, I bet she wonders the same too. Evermore's coming along. We got new castle walls up. The place is starting to look uh, like a proper kingdom. Now we get to the training grounds. Now to get the training grounds looking uh, 
little bit more presentable. Oh, and I know the boss is England. Very nice tavern to unwind in. Heart too. Har har. You're the one that wants a tavern. Couldn't wish. That cheek. Yeah, that nan crossed my mind. We got, we got a bigger kingdom now. We got so much real estate. Look at all this space. Look at all these activities we can do. So many activities. We got walls too. We, we keep the uh, unmentionable people out. From kingdom was to come along, along pretty nicely. But uh, let's get into our boat. Actually, before we get into the boat, switch out the party. We haven't used Tiny for a bit. Let's uh, get her out there. I guess we can play Spot 2 for now. And we all jump on the boat. All boats. together now! All aboard. Looks like it. Hey, tidy, eh? Alright, it's time to set sail for unknown seas. Hoist the rudder. Swap the main sail. We're off. Big ups. We're, out. We're on the boat. You can access the ship via your field map, and once aboard, you'll be able to sail the seas wherever you please. Even the odd river or two as well. Disembark. Simply press, uh, approach the coast and press X. Over. Please be aware that you don't at, won't be able to do so near cliffs and certain obstacles. If you ever use the travel spell uh, to jump to a trip door, don't worry, your boat will be brought to the nearest bit of coast at your convenience. For your convenience. Oh. So we got our boat, we're sailing. Monster there. They're at level 30 goat. Do we fight on the deck? Oh, we do fight on the deck. Oh. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I mean, like, at least, at least these dudes aren't too strong. They're, like, the right level for me. Break yourselves useful. So we gotta head to Hydropolis. I guess along the way. I'm not sure, like, what side quest stuff unlocks with the boat. I'm pretty sure we can save that for later. Probably shouldn't really look that up anyways. Or, like, worry too much about it. Got to uh, hit the hydro balls. Is it just glues on the sea though? It's kind of disappointing. Oh no, never mind. We, we got uh, the recolor of the skeleton plasms. The skeleplasms. Tiny. There's the last dude. The action bow. So we're probably supposed to see some sort of big city. Oh, yeah, I see in the distance. Yeah. Yes. Watch your back. Oh, so quite a bit of enemies. That's good. I'm kind of waiting to see if I can use the uh, steel spell yet. No, nope. yeah. The shot probably should start using it to, to get stuff. Swipe and stuff. Swipe stuff. Swipe and swipe. Yeah. Yeah, might as well collect all this stuff. Oh, we got uh, time to run. We're gonna have to collect it. Uh, oh, in the war. More, more goo things pop up. Come on! Oh, we did it. Good, good gold. I do really like that move from Tani though. Oh, no good? No, no, no. Well, that was like a battle move. Like with uh, Mel Slime's Dragon like, Quest. Mel Slime's Dragon Quest are uh, very hard. Hey man, we, we got the boat now. We uh, sail in the high seas. This is like our G5. Their G5? No, what's like the name of the boat? All the rappers have. That's our boat. Oh, we got like a whirlpool there. Probably like where we're supposed to go uh, after we talk to the city. Uh, 
Uh, we got like a lot of plant stuff here too. Now I wonder if I go into the vortex, it'll say, "Hey, don't go in there yet." Oi! Yeah, it'll, it'll stop me. Okay, there's an invisible wall on the vortex. But uh, new city. Just slowly come. Oh, there's humans. I don't see any merfolk yet. But uh, here we are, Hydropolis. And we got like the Eye of Sauron looking at us. See that in the background? The Eye of Sauron. Here we are at last. Hello, Hydropolis. Mm. They're so pretty. The weather's lovely and warm. Ah. Ooh. Lovely, my eye. I've never been so seasick in all my days. Ugh. Oh, you got, we, there are there's some rare folks that mm. look at us. My familiar vessel. Form Archon Leander right away. Yes. Yes, sir. All haste. All right. All right. We better think of the best way to approach Queen Nera. Hmm. Pretty gift or two from back home. A few sweet words will do the job nicely enough, I'll wager. Hmm. Really? I can't help thinking it won't be quite that simple. It's not cursed by going all miserable, shall we? Sure, she'll be very nice. She'll be a very nice woman. Well, happy to have a chat with us. Is this some SM play going on? It is. Oh I will God. never understand why the people love you so, Leander. Weak, insipid man. But love you they do. Without you, I would be nothing. That is what they whisper, is it not? Without you, our nation would be nothing, your majesty. I, above all others, know this. But the people cannot know this. Foreign powers cannot know this. If they did... If they did? Then what, exactly? Then your life would be in danger. Malign forces would plot your downfall. This is the way of power. So I put myself forward. If the people see me, deal with me. They can only become discontented with me. Can only wish to harm me. So all that you do, you do for your queen. You would give your life for her without a moment's hesitation. Yes? Not without reason, your majesty. But if it might prolong your life for a single second, that would be reason enough. Such a death would bring honor upon me, upon my entire line. Insipid you may be, but you are occasionally amusing. You are too kind, your majesty. Mm. All right, there we go. Well, you wish to see me? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. The ship has arrived from a foreign land. It's a vessel unknown to us, but it's most likely it brings travelers, perhaps traders. Hmm. That's so. Well, whoever they are, they must obey the word of the law. There will be no exception that is not understood. Not a single infraction can be tolerated. Not one. So perfectly clear. By all means. Perfectly. <laughs> right, Tom. Let's, let's have us a little stroll around, and see what we see, uh, see what we can see, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's. Hey there. Hey, sailor. Let us know when you're ready to take off, Your Majesty. Take your time, enjoy the sights. Tis a fine town. No, make no mistake. Or and no mistake. Uh, we'll be ready to set sail whenever you need us. Have fun now. Ha ha. Alright. So we reached the water level of Nino Kuni 2. Which uh, is always great in every RPG game. When we ever get to the water level. It's always like the most favorite part of every game I, from what I've heard. It, all, it dates back to like all all the way back to like Legend of Zelda. Everyone loves the water levels in Legend of Zelda. They're the greatest thing. I think a few people agree that uh, the war levels are great. Great. I was kind of cracked there for a sec. Alright, 
so we hey. reached... Oh, here you go. You, stop right there. All foreign visitors to Hydropolis, Hydropolis must undergo questioning or being permitted entry. Firstly, state your purpose here. Have you simply come to visit or to trade, perhaps? We traveled here from Evermore, a new country in the heartlands. We'd like to request an audience with King Deiria. <laughs> I, have ne I have heard of no such nation, and the Queen offers audience to no one. It would seem that your journey has been overstated. Ah, oh, flippin' heck! Something tells me the news of our illustrious kingdom hasn't spread too far just yet. Ooh. Well, we will we'll, we'll have soon. There'll be a single... There'll be singular praises from the rooftops next time you are in town, you'll see. Excuse me. Next, you must swear you're to abide by the four pillars of the law. Oh. Four pillars, what are they? Pillar one, it is strictly forbidden to harm one's fellow man. Pillar two, it is strictly forbidden to ascend any of the high places of Hydropolis. Pillar three, sickness is strictly forbidden. Oh, you can't get sick? Pillar four, the last and most important, love is absolutely incredible. Completely forbidden under any circumstances. What? Wait, 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 wait. What'd you say? That's crazy. <laughs> to the people of Hydropolis, there's nothing of the sort. There's no greater crime than to love. As long as you're a guest here, you'll remember this. On pain, the most severe punishment, that will be all. No love, can't get sick. <laughs> Foundation is. Like a, I, I don't want to say I'm, I, I might, that might be a too, that might be too toss for me. Pah, so much for strolling up uh, with a gift or two, the old queenie. The wager she's as warm as her welcomes as our friend. Oh, we still don't know a whole lot about her. If we're going to do this right, we need to learn more. And there's only one thing for it. Mm. Yes, come, come on, let's explore the town. I'm sure someone will be able to help us. So I guess this uh, trip door real quick. So we don't have to like kick the ship back here. We can just uh this thing. This way leads to higher ground, and it's forbidden to climb the higher places here in Hytropolis. The view from the ocean from up there is beautiful indeed, such a shame. Oh. Um, can't climb up. Can't explore. Can't kingdom in this. Not a kingdom in RPG game. This is a kingdom of like like a linear corridor. So we got Solar Lady. Hey there. Oh well. You're truly a vision of full innocence. And what items might interest you in today, young man? Oh, the game crashed. No. I didn't save either. It's weird that the game crashed at like a weird point too. I was trying to load up that shop. I mean, hopefully it saved like right after the cutscene. I hope it did. Yeah, I think that's a good reason why you have auto saves. Just in case if the game crashes, uh, stuff like this, uh, it really can get can uh, be conflicted, not conflicted, to be corrected properly. So, what's the auto save at? Hopefully, this is after the cutscene. I, I think it, it's probably up after the cutscene. Yep, after the cutscene. Okay, that's good. So, we didn't lose too much progress. We lost, like, going down here and, and grabbing a couple items. That's it. We got a pebble, so we can make more of those uh, shoes. Let's try talking this hey there. Oh, well, you're truly a true. Uh, of youthful innocence. But what items are I interested you interest you in today? Yeah, so for some reason, uh talking to her crashed the game for the first time. It works now, so it's mm. uh that's fine. Anything else you require? Nope. See you. Oh, we hope you return to Coral De uh Diadem soon. Probably not a cyclone. Not a cyclone. It's cause I think they have like the blue like, uh Blue smiley face if they're if they have a side quest to give you. 
Yeah, I'm just looking right, just looking around though, just to see if there's any like stuff I can collect. I don't know what I know might be useful. I always say. Let's go to higher ground. Oh, we might go to jail if we go higher. Hopefully there aren't any guards around. Okay, never mind. But it's not high ground. It's higher ground. That's not high ground. Maybe that's a weapon shop. Watch the game crashes again. Good day! Open the tried tested armors. What do you think of the armors? Yeah, I feel like you find better stuff in the field than uh, I have a wide range of items. Than what you oh, would get come again. buying some buy, buying from town, so I guess like buying from towns is not really worth it. So that's the armor. It's this place. It's a mysterious place. Oh, it's Swift Solutions. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Uh, where the world goes around to help find others in times of need. Now, what can we help you with today? Let's take on tasks. We can take on tasks that we can already uh, submit. Okay. We already have the max. Let's report some completed ones. Get some tokens out of this. Everything is good games. Take on more stuff. That. Uh, do this. I'm just looking to see what, like, what we have, like 3 out of 3 or whatever. Stuff that we already have. Just taking that. Because it looks like you can complete stuff after the fact. Or like, you, like, you already have the item. You don't have to go out and find it. Most of the time. Unless it's like killing the X amount of creatures. Then, uh, yeah. That's the stuff where you have to actually take on it, too. Trade our tokens. Let's go for new. Oh, she's right. Embarrassing. I don't have anyone to introduce you at the moment. We're so sorry. Oh, lovely. What are we looking for? Uh, the tokens. Nothing. Just wanted to see if. I mean, we can take on this. Take on that. Flashwood X. Lumpy Bony Bits. Wheats and toadstools. I feel like I already have tasks that, uh, yeah, I, already, I probably already have tasks that I took on that I haven't completed. Right? Not even close to doing. Uh, that's probably what it is. So I don't feel like I've taken on like 12 plus. Oh, Nothing. by the way. So we got some merfolk talking to each other. It's always nice. Nice to see a vibrant town with people. Even though they just kind of just stand in one place all the time. Most of them do. Some actually move around. Those are uh, few and far in between. Another trip door here, so I have to walk all this way. Little fishmonger. Welcome. Welcome to the Tavern Calamari. Uh, we're the finest fare in the kingdom, sir. Be sure to cast a glance at our range of fish, fresh fish ingredients. We have food. We urchins, scar wrinkle. Hey, we need five of those, so let's get five of these. Because uh, I think it was for a quest. Yeah. We need to Do you require anything? Five Come again. For a quest. Go up here. Is this too high? Guards, guards don't say anything, though. So I think it's not too high. Can't climb high for whatever reason. I guess they're afraid that you might jump yeah. into the ocean from like high high distances and like kill yourself. We don't want that to happen. Uh, we do well not to underestimate the city guard. They have eyes everywhere. Nothing escapes them. Nothing. I mean, they do have like the big eye of Sauron looking over the city. I guess that helps. Several of my acquaintances have been thrown in prison after being caught breaking the law. Uh, they were certain no one watch them. I don't understand how they do it. The guards seem to be able to sniff out wrongdoing where, wherever and whenever it takes place. It's as though they have a sixth sense. Some claim that the Archon leader, Archon Leander, uh, wondrously acute hearing. That's wondrously acute hearing. This is how he knows of everything that's happening in the kingdom at the moment it happens. Surely this cannot be true. Oh no, maybe Leander does have some sort of magical gifts. Yeah, I accidentally touched the touchpad. It caused me to swerve up. 
Yeah, I'm just wondering. Uh, no. No, I, I think it'd be faster if I just walk. Because I'm wondering, should I take like a trip door and just like go back to the beginning? But no. No, where I need to go, it's faster just to walk there. Trip door and walk back. Is this too high? This is might be too high. This is probably too high. Yep, it's too high. Forgive me, friend. But beyond here lies the higher ground, and it's written to visit the high places of Hydropolis. Archon Leander himself gave me the strictest orders to print no one to pass. And the Archon's word is law. Alright, listen to you. We'll probably have to go up there sooner. Do you gonna know, stop me going here? It's too high too. Or is this too low? Is there, is there a law for going too low? Am I going to the sewers? Got this like curly haired kid just watching. Just plowing something in the sewers. Maybe he's looking for like the uh, teenage mutant turtles. He's like the uh, the kid that lost the turtles. But I don't know what you call him. That kid's always been nameless. You know, like every adaptation of the, the turtles I've ever seen. The kid that has the turtles that drops him into the sewer. Always been nameless. Just a kid. But, you know. I guess that's why the, the turtles stay hidden. Like, if they see, if the news catches wind of, like, oh, four turtles. Or four turtle sized human beings, I believe. Like, people will start thinking, or the guy would start thinking, like, oh, I had four turtles when I was a kid. Oh man, the, the recording is chopping up. I'm just looking at the stream now, and it's kind of like, oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. It's something, uh,. Um, Maybe I have too many tabs in Chrome open. That's probably fine. That's why the sudden, the sudden uh, drop in frames. You asked me what I know of Queen Mary. Uh, I, I, now that you mention it, I realize that I know very little. Uh, Ran she seldom appears before her people. Look, you see that building over there with all the guards? That's the entrance to the palace. It lies uh, on the ocean floor, you see. And on the top, and on the top stands the eye. See, that's probably how uh, the guards know. It's supposed to symbolize the benevolence for which her majesty watches over us. But rumor tells of it's actually being a device she uses to spy on her own people. Yeah, it probably is. It's like a satellite. Whether or not this is actually true, uh, we certainly ne can never, we certainly never see her. Her interaction with the citizenry are, are conducted with, uh, via Archon Leander. Their most trusted aide and advisor. Or well, her most trusted aide and advisor. Some events say that in truth. He is he who rules our realm. Uh, if that is so, what exactly is it that she does? Exactly. What is it? Why is uh, Queen Iria so important? That lo why uh, Leander is only to drop her life, or drop his life, make sure that she lives. Suspect. I don't know, maybe it's like to, sy to symbolize the unity between human and merfolk. Even though there's not really a unity per se. It feels pretty divided. I don't see any humans interacting with them. Walking around. Humans uh, and merfolk are pretty segregated. Not gonna lie. Got old lady. That merfolk person sitting around old. Oh, hello there. You are a visitor here is from a distant land, are you not? You must have been surprised when you heard of our very peculiar laws. I can assure you that we local folk are equally baffled. There, uh, there would appear to be no rhyme or reason behind most of them. They are merely victims of people's hmm. wounds. Law for being love is surely the most ridiculous of all. We hydropolitans have a long tradition of proposing our intended ones within an agent ring made of comely coil. Coral. What will become of this tradition now? No one knows what motivates the queen. We live in constant fear. What outlandish the edicts could be passed next? As for our Archon, as for Archon Leander, well, the way she treats him is nothing short of a disgrace. So, so Leander is like the fake king. 
fake person who rules the over this place. They're gonna talk about, oh yeah, Leander. Yeah, I heard him mm. talks about this Leander person. Well, I'm not sure we learned an awful lot about Queen. You know, uh, that'll be much use to us. No. No, but we sure heard a lot about this Leander character. Yeah. You're thinking uh, the swab might be our way in, Bowen Lad? Really? Interesting. Yeah. Get to him. Might be able to use him to get one step closer to the queen. How would we do? How would we get to him? <laughs> oh, I know. Me, me, me. Ask me. Oi! What? 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 Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Actually, I'll fill you all in on the details in a bit. Let's uh, get one of those finger me bobs first, shall we? Huh? Finger me bobs? Yeah, exactly. Let's try somewhere that sells accessories that. Uh, that. I reckon they might have one by there. Gosh. Well, I don't quite understand, but all right then. You need thingamabobs? Oh, I never got the chip door here. I thought I did. Maybe it was like the previous time. Anyways, uh, let's see, thingamabobs. Where, where will we find a thingamabob? Yeah. Here, mate. You don't happen to sell bright red coral rings, do you? Whoa. What? But. But what do you want with such a thing? Never mind you, Sunshine. You got one or what? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. But the law forbids me to sell such an item. It's dread to think how the Archon Leander would react if we were to learn of such flagrant breach of the law. That said, as far as I know, there's simply no law that prevents me from simply giving you one. All I ask is that you help me in return. A fair exchange. I'm sure you will agree. Yeah, 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 yeah! We'll be the judge that month. Alright, spit it out. What kind of help are you after? Okay. Well, Ziffo says, I have three orders awaiting delivery. Simply do not have the time to deliver them myself. I'm grateful you could oblige me. Oh, so we're delivery boys again. Again. Sounds nice. Taking the delivery for Proteus, and delivery for a train. Boosh! Got it! Let's spot a delivery work in exchange for a nice coral ring. Doesn't sound too hard. Right, let's get moving, Evan. Uh, fake side quests. Let's do this. And I mean, what I mean by fake is that you actually have to do the side quest in order to progress the story. But it's not really a side quest. It's actually uh, required. Hello. Hello there. I'm a delivery for you. Uh, tried and tested armors. Hi. Ah, at last, I can barely express how anxiously I've been waiting. Waited, it's coming. And over the delivery for Triton. I was utterly convinced that Queen Nerea would grace, uh, grace we, her, among the citizens, with her hallowed presence before it arrived. Gods be praised. It seems to have reached me in time. Gosh. Does she... So she does come out over a great... Meet the people often? Hmm. Goodness, no. Why, it must be... Oh, the decades since uh, we last seen a glimpse of her face. This is merely a guess, of course. Although it certainly uh, feels that long. Suffice to say, this is, uh, so I say that she does not emerge from the palace often. Oh, how long has it been since we last gazed upon her radiant beauty? Now that she, uh, now that she emerged when she has it, uh, when she has with Archon Leander to attend to her every whim, it's he who handles the day to day of running our the kingdom. He is so difficult to catch a glimpse of, entirely the opposite. His every waking moment is spent rushing around the city, tending to the affairs of the state. Uh, some say that Her Majesty has grown almost too dependent on him, but I would almost never dare to make such a suggestion myself, of course. <laughs> As we get to learn more about this place, the Leander running around, trying to make sure everything works. I guess this is the end. Yeah, it's the end. Yeah, there's like nothing back here. Oh, there, there's stuff back. Churn butter. Yes, because uh, you would love to find churn butter on like the steps of, of, of a hotel. It's like the best churn butter. Let's see. I talked to him after about uh, deliver the stuff to two more people. Whatever this is. These guys seem awfully happy to uh, receive it before he the place. Hello. Hello there, 
I have a delivery for you from Tried and Tested Army. Hmm. My word. Never would I expect Zephos to start um, using Taurus as delivery boys. I have no reason to complain. Thank you, young man. Hand over the delivery boys. Ha 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 Not bad, eh? This hat will make, um, makes me look more handsome than ever. Blaze of Hydropolis will be unwieldy to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I thought you weren't allowed to fall in love. I jest, of course. Let's uh, make more than. I'll take more than a new hat to cause one as plain as I. Never fear of falling foul. Man of love. Oh. On love. Okay. Uh, in truth, it's a rather sad state of affairs. Sigh. Uh, still, I do not want to dwell on it. There are other restrictions in place that trouble me far more. All contentious topics are now forbidden. Tavern. Tavern conversations. Anyone who challenges the opinion of another is immediately apprehended by the guards. No arguments allowed? Even worse, ever since my friend fell from a uh, rampart on his home, again, we're now forbidden from venturing to high places. Oh, so that's why you can't travel to high places, because people fall and uh, hurt themselves, and you don't want that to happen. I will never forget the face of Archon Meander when we arrived on the scene. It was as though uh, the world itself were about to end. My friend was almost entirely unhurt, but uh, it was a matter of hours before Queen Nereo promulgated a new law in order to prevent it from happening again. Such molly coddling was enough to make one despair. Forgive me, rather than bemoan my own uh, primitive circumstances, I must instead encourage you to enjoy your freedom. Goodness, I know. Goodness knows I envy you. Yeah, so, uh, definitely, actually, I, I should probably do this before, um, uh, probably do this before the stream ends. I was, I'm, I was planning to do this earlier, but I totally forgot about it. But I'm going to be giving everyone, uh, subs, because, yeah, uh, let's see if I can. Helps with the paycheck. Some music in the back too. Right. Uh, let's see. Gift. No, I don't want to hear myself. Oh, God. Wonderful. A new child myself. soldier. I mean, subscriber. There we go. Testosterone I, I, just subscribed. There we go. Throwing out, throwing out a couple uh, T1 subs out to everyone. For, uh, for attending the stream. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. A new child soldier. I mean, subscriber. Twat Rob, it just subscribed. Big ups, uh, Testosterone and Twat Rob for getting the two custom subs. Big ups. Anyways, uh, back to the content. Just wanted to do this real quick before, uh, the stream ends. Anyways, enjoy your subs. Let's see, so we got to find a couple more people to deliver stuff. Let's see, we got a couple? No, we got, we got one more person to do. Yeah. One more person, and then we can uh, finally finish off with this delivery side quest. Can we jump down? Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, it's weird how this like whole city is set up. Hello. Hello. I have something for you from Tried Tested Armors. You handed over the delivery to Proteus. Thank you very much. Oh yes, thank you. But honestly, what a waste. Waste. What do you? Mean? I'm a jeweler, and Zephos was once uh, was once my biggest wholesaler customer. Now the love is forgiven. Mario Virgilio has dwindled drastically. Package you just handed to me contains all the items that Ziphos has been able to sell. 
Well, the things are getting rather quite desperate, I must say. I would turn back, uh, I'd like to turn back the market. I'd like to turn the, to the black market, but there's no escaping the unblinking gaze of the eye. The black market? What? Excuse guy try, me? Uh, trying to, trying to pawn off his, his jewelry. To the black market. That's uh, a bit weird, a bit drastic. Surely, uh, you can't be see, you can't see us here. Hmm. Clearly, you're not being Hydrolos, Hydropolis long. The eye sees all. Walls are no obstacles to its crying magics. Well, we're all on, are all of us under its uh, constant gaze? Uh, as soon as it catches a glimpse of any wrongdoing, the guards come running. Any now even hesitate to pick up the coins that have fallen onto the street. Not because it's illegal, you understand, but simply out of embarrassment, being observed in the act. Saiba, forgive me. You do not need to trouble yourself with my woes. Tidy! Tidy. It's all the delivery's done. I'll tell you what, Mun. You didn't even do half the year the juicy tales about the kingdom. While we're at it. I wasn't convinced my plan was an absolute beauty before I flipped into all I am now. Come on, let's get back to try and test it. Claim our reward. R. The extra E in the it makes me sound like a dog saying R. Yeah, and having explored this area, I actually walk on the wall. Whoa, it's crazy. No, it's, it's shallow water. Looks a bit, yeah. I thought there'd be a side quest here. Is she drying this place? Uh, I, I guess she can work on it. Doesn't look exactly like it though. Let people fish in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'll, I'll say. I was gonna say that. Oh, that that uh, this place leads back to where we were supposed to go, but no, it doesn't. It's like one weird area to explore. I'll say. Like I said, the layout is kind of. For this place is a bit weird. Not gonna lie. There's like a shortcut here. Stairs. <laughs> nope, you can't. There's a lot of places that look like you can jump into, but you can't really, because it doesn't really show up on the map. It's always weird. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's talk back to Zephos. See what, see what he has Thanks. to say to us. You have completed your deliveries, I see. Thank you. Here's your coral ring as promised. We got the, we got the adore ring. Oh, Tommen! There's beautiful ta, ta meat. All that, and I, all I ask is for you to inform uh, no one of its provenance. Yeah. In the name of the gods, do not allow the guards to see you wearing it. We'll be sure to uh, not do that. Thank you, Zephos, for the. Oi! So that's the ring. Uh, it's the one that the woman wears. That the woman was talking about. Excuse me. What do you mean to do with it, Long? <laughs> ah, something proper genius. That's what. You'll have to do something uh, me before I can let you in on my little secret. You'll have to promise me to call me Mr. Director, sir. Got it. Even Tani, Evan, Tani, you're coming with me. Um. Oh, is is Lofty planning to send us to jail, so that we can get closer to the queen? I think that's the that's the plan, Victor, to, to intentionally go to jail. Huh? Wedding scene, take one! And... Action! Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a pretty cute Look. scene. Is he... Proposing? <clears throat> Tunny? <laughs> yes, Evan? 
you'll just get on with it, will you? It's make-believe, remember? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, of course. I... Um... Uh, I... I can bear it no longer. I care not a jot if, um, if love be forbidden. My feelings for you cannot be tamed. I must scream it from the rooftops. That's it. Go on. Will you? Uh, will you marry me? Was that the right of the ring? A marriage proposal in broad daylight? Big ups, Evan. He did it. Bros to Tani. Pretty sure Tani is like enthused. Surely not. If Master Leander finds out, they will rot a year in jail. That's the plan. Oh, everybody's jail. looking. <laughs> Focus, Tani. Time for your close-up. Take the ring, big ring, and... Well, Evan, you know what comes next. Spit it out. And Tani is loving this. Uh, I love you. <clears throat> what was that, man? Project, boy, project! You are not in a cupboard, you are on the stage! Now, pucker up, my boy. Time to go in for the kill. And I'm sure Batu loves this. Look, look at his face. Batu, Batu's loving this. Oh, no, you don't, lad. That's my daughter, Kershi. And the guards are here already. You there, you two, you are under arrest for the crime of public affection. The PDA is allowed. Uh, about time. Took him a while. There's no use denying it. Her Majesty witnessed the entire sorry affair. Come with me. Now, are we in jail? Coming to jail too? Bot two, Roland, uh, Lofty, going to jail. Oh, they are. Oh, everyone's in jail now. What? Jail. Oh, Jail in. indeed, my boy. Which means my little plant went off without a hitch, Tidy. Um. That'd be so. Where's this Leander swab then, eh? Well. What business do you have uh, with the Archon? What exactly was your intent in flooding the logs of Hydropolis? Hydropolis. So flagrantly, I wonder. Excuse me? Are, are you Leander? Hmm. I am. Yes, we finally got to meet. My apologies. We were focused, uh, we were forced to use a little artifice to gain your attention. Mm hmm? Is that so? Why would you go to such lengths? Who are you? I am Evie Pettywhisker Tildrum, King of Evermore. I come to ask you to sign a treaty. Forgive me. You speak of a union. I'm afraid I must refuse. <laughs> what? J just like that? Well. If we're up to me, yes. But Her Majesty has ordered that you be brought to for her. Hmm? Queen Uriah wants to meet us? Yes. She does, although why she would wish to do so is... Let's see what Queen Uriah has to say to us. Now... There is no need to go into tiresome explanations. All has all has been shown to me. You wish for me to sign. You wish me to sign this treaty of yours, correct? If I may be so bold, you cannot, Your Majesty. Enter into a union would be. I advise against it. Hmm. Silence, Lee. Uh. Y yes, Your Majesty. I have one condition. Of course. What would that? What might that be? Beneath the sea, not far from here, there's a labyrinth. Deep within it dwells a great sea monster, Cetus. Defeat this creature and return here unharmed. Do so and I will sign your treaty. Huh? Really? 
Yes. Really, Leander will accompany you. Oh, is this like 40 chests of course. Pl plate here? I, of course, your majesty. Is, is the queen trying to get rid of Leander? Trying to kill two birds with one stone? Get rid of us with, the, with Cetus? And get rid of Leander too? Majesty's word is law. I will accompany you to the labyrinth if you wish. You will see that beast is destroyed. Forgive me. But you must forgive me. I have not properly introduced myself. I am Leander Arista Aristides, Archon of Hydropolis. Mm. It's very nice to meet you, Archon Leander. So what exactly is this labyrinth? It lies beneath the sea, southeast of Hydropolis. Arr, better get uh, best be on our way. Let's set sail and give the Cetus a troubling, shall we, we hard eagles? Leander temporarily joins your party. Big ups, Leander. Welcome to the party. Can we use this? We can. Uh. So. Thing is, like, what is Leander's skill set? Spear user. Uh, he uses. Give him a nice one. I'm pretty sure all this stuff will be returned back to me, of course, uh, when Leander leaves our party. Let's see, anti free phone mail. Yeah, I, I guess that'll work. Crackish boots. Yeah, you can keep those boots for now. Until I find something better. So I assume he's a spear user, so I guess he needs, like, uh. Yeah, strength. I'd probably be. Spear user, let's put, uh, take out Tani, put Leander in. New post on Leafbook. Wow, we got a lot. Got a lot of posts. So everyone's coming along, we read that. Uh, unknown vessel arrives. Boat that i never seen before has sailed into the harbor. I where in the world, uh, it be from. Who could have sailed it? Oh, it's like that. Oh, pretty disciplined. Bygone. Here's a picture I took uh, while out on a patrol around Evermore. It's it is marvelous to see the change that's come over Gauja. Gauja? Yeah. Since he arrived here, he's like a young puck of eber to give all that he can. You must learn from his example. You have to post this. Aha. Come, you're proud of it in a minute. And uh, my favorite fish, part two. Fish are the greatest, says. This fine fish is known as a uh, big fin flyer. It uses its powerful fin to spin through the waters at high speeds, which uh, make it a real challenge to catch. But that does not stop us from trying. Young merfolk have come, have a long love to complete, compete to see who can net one. What a flashy fish! Yes, it's very brain shiny. I can see why kids want to catch one. Very handsome, buddy. Yes. Pretty in pink. Get a little of my dress. I look like a million guilders, right? This uh, was taken just before Evan proposed me. Well, sort of. Well, anyway, it suits me, don't you think? Proposed, you say? But the, uh, let's hear more about this. Yes. Tiny, are you serious? Evan proposed to you? No, not really. We're just messing around. You don't think I'd marry Evan, do you? Oh, I see it. I was so excited. Really? Oh, that's, 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 that's a feels bad, man. See Tani on, on social media being like, yeah, I wouldn't marry Evan. Evan is like shooketh right now. I bet he is. If I'm Evan and I'm reading this right now, I'd be shooketh. Well, who would dare propose in Hydropolis? You know how a lot, how a lot of you is love is misguided, reckless to be sure. Yeah, I cannot forget it. Such a romantic scene. Why must uh, we be denied such delights? Truly, I do not understand our laws. What does Queen Aria have against love? Does she think she has ever known it? Perhaps she envies the love of others. Yeah, she probably does. And we'll probably never know. Hey so there. Should I guess to use the hydro walls? Uh, the hydro portal to travel to Cardia Square. Does so that mean that we can travel back and forth between the kingdom? Between the throne room? And, uh, this place? Yeah, I guess we can. Yeah, this seems like a good spot to end the stream. So, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Get the Sonic music. I always have to, I should probably like, be far around this. For this scene. But anyways, thanks for coming out. Uh, thanks to people 
who will receive their subs. Big ups, uh, be sure to not have too much phone fun with your uh, Simphon 1 Pog. Don't have too much fun. It might it might uh, get you in trouble some other places. But anyways, uh, thanks for coming out. I'll probably try to upload this to YouTube when I can. But uh, until then, I do have a bunch of other parts of my playthrough that you can check out while you're there. So if you, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you feel like checking it out, go ahead. But yeah, thanks for coming out, and I'll see you the next stream.